bit about uh, how'd you get him here? What's going on? Um, how did I get him here? Yeah, Let's yeah. See. She invited <laughs> me. I invited him, and he showed up. Yeah. It's been great. Uh, so the campus is really, um, we have a, a strong uh, identity with aviation and engineering technology, and uh, Senator Moran's been a big proponent for us, um, a big supporter on the aviation side. And so we always invite him to come and, and see what we're doing, see what the latest is that's going on. So what exactly are we going to be looking at today? Ah, today is unmanned aircraft systems. So yeah. we're pretty excited about that. Lots of things go on at, uh, at Polytechnic. And, but one of those things that we're focused on today is uh, an, unmanned aerial vehicles. And this is a hugely important issue for Kansas, for our country. This has a lot to do with certainly our nation's defense, but there are so many commercial business applications for how we can use this technology. And Kansas, and particularly K-State, is poised to be at the front and center of the technology behind the vehicles, but at the moment focused on the training and workforce development of people who work in this industry. And uh, K-State uh, Polytechnic has been designated as one of the national uh, facilities uh, for work on UAVs. My role in Congress and the Senate focuses on a number of areas in regard to this topic. Just broadly, I want to make sure that kids in Kansas who are interested in science and mathematics, engineering, research, that they've got a place to land. So we want to promote that kind of education, but then we also want to make careers available, have careers available to those students when they graduate. And the more we can do at K-State here in Salina, the greater opportunity we have to bring in businesses associated with UAVs and aviation. So broadly, that's the goal. But specifically in Washington, the focus is on um, the VA and its ability to allow uh, veterans to have uh, training here uh, using their GI Bill. So it's an issue that we're sorting through and trying to make certain that more students, particularly those who serve in our military, have a, a, a better chance uh, to have the financial uh, support to attend K-State Polytechnic. Uh, we're working with the military, Fort Riley, Great Plains Training Center, one to the east, one to the west. UAVs are becoming a significant component of, uh, of military efforts. Uh, and so that's an aspect of, of why we're here. And then the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, uh, which the committees that I serve on have jurisdiction over are in the process of determining how UAVs can be used in commercial airspace. And this place has a lot of expertise uh, and we're trying to make certain that common sense prevails at the FAA and that UAVs are utilized in a way that's safe to our commercial and private pilots. Uh, and at the same time uh, have a, an opportunity to fill a significant uh, economic and need, security need for our country. Uh, and. Uh how many, I guess, uh, last of all, how many times have you visited here and uh, how does Salina treat you? Well, I've been on the K-State uh, Salina, now Polytechnic yeah. campus, uh, many times, dozens if not more uh, over the years. Uh, and this is probably the third or fourth visit about UAVs over the last four or five years. Yeah. And how do you like Salina? Oh, Salina is one of my favorite places, as you'd expect me to say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm out of Washington, D.C. today, uh, unexpectedly. Yeah. Uh, Salina is such a great place that it was where I chose to come when I had nothing on my schedule. Uh, and these folks here at, uh, at, at K-State are so hospitable that they allowed me to come with only a few hours notice.